श्री स्वामी नारायण भगवान नी जय अक्षर पुरुषोत्तम महाराज नी जय गुणातितानंद स्वामी महाराज नी जय भगत जी महाराज नी जय शास्त्री जी महाराज नी जय योगी जी महाराज नी जय प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज नी जय महंत स्वामी महाराज नी जय प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज शताब्दी महोत्सव नी जय अक्षरधाम महोत्सव नी जय जय स्वामी नारायण बालक सन बालिकाज एंड वेलकम टू टुडे इज वेरी स्पेशल सभा हे व्हाट वाज दैट डिड यू हियर दैट टू आई थिंक इट्स द माइक्रोवेव uh i don't think so i think you're just getting hungry parambai come on man we just had snack before sabha so that wasn't the microwave no that sounded like the doorbell wait hold on a sec shadbai didn't you say we were in for a special surprise today maybe we should see if it's at the door good idea i'll be right back Hmm, it seems like we have a package. Did you order anything, Parambai? No. Did you order anything? No, and this doesn't seem like an ordinary package. I think this is the surprise you heard about, Parambai. It looks like a gift. A gift. Oh boy, I wonder what it is. Shadbai, can we please open it now? Pretty please. Okay, okay. But I wonder who sent us this. Well, let's just look at the package label. Wait a minute. It can't be. It says here is from Nanpur, India. Whoa, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Who's it from? It says here Sad- Sadhu Keshav Ji Vandas. That's no other than our Guru Mahan Swami Maharaj. Wow. A gift from Mahan Swami Maharaj himself. But what could it be? Well, let's see. It seems like there's a note here. Let's take a look. I open up but am not a door. With every flip you'll learn much much more. Focus on me with an open mind and Swami Bapa's Rajipo you will surely find. Hmm, it seems like a riddle. Will all of you help us solve the riddle and find out what this gift is? Awesome. So, let's think about this. I open up but am not a door. What opens but is not a door? Hmm. Maybe it's a refrigerator. It opens up, but it's not necessarily a door. Uh, Parambai, I know you're hungry, but I don't think so. It says with every flip, and refrigerators have a door on them. So, hmm, every flip? So maybe it's a trampoline. Trampolines let you jump really high and flip in the air. But I'm not so sure because it also says with every flip you'll learn much more how exactly would opening a refrigerator or jumping on a trampoline teach us more you're right plus it has to do with something that makes swami bapa raji that's right good point parambai let's read the next clue and see if that brings us any closer i have a spine but no bones a front and back and a specific tone pearls of wisdom if you take a look I'm usually red, so you might say I'm a blank. A spine? But no bones? Isn't a spine made of bones? Oh man, this is getting tough. Do any of you watching from home know what has a spine but no bones? Well, it has a front and back and is usually red? What's the color red and has a specific tone? No, 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 not the color red. I think it means red, like a like a book. That's it. Pearls of wisdom, if you take a look, I'm usually red, so you might say I'm a book. The blank has to be book. But it says this book has a specific tone? Hmm. What could that mean? Let's take a look at the next riddle. It's not just a book. It's a scripture, a holy granth. Start reading and learning each page, keeping Maharaj and Swami at the forefront. Satsang Diksha is the name the Akshapushtha Mupasna it does proclaim. The Satsang Diksha I've heard about this. So it's not just a book. It's more special than that. 
This is a scripture. Wow, this is definitely something really, really special. A scripture, and that too written by Guru Hari Mahan Swami Maharaj himself. Amazing! A gift from Mahan Swami Maharaj himself, just for us. I can't wait to dive in. Come on, let's take a look. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Right. Hmm. So, what does it say? Tell the rest of us, we want to hear too. Well, to be honest with you, Sharad Bhai, I'm not entirely sure. They're shloks, and they're written in Sanskrit and Gujarati. I think we need someone to explain the details to us, to really tell us what we're reading. I know just the person. We can ask Pujya Anant Yogi Swami, who I'm sure will be glad to help us understand the significance of the gift that Man Swami Maharaj has given us, and exactly how we should use it. Pujya Anant Yogi Swami was born and brought up in England and is a production design engineer. He received Diksha in 2012 in Sarangpur where he studied Sanskrit and Hindu scriptures. Great! Then let's pass this scripture to Pujya Anant Yogi Swami so we can learn how to use this historic gift from Param Pujya Mahan Sai Maharaj. Thank you, Param Bhai. Jasmine Barak and Balikas, in today's presentation, we are going to be learning about Satsang Diksha. As Barak and Balikas, when you want to know anything for the first time, we always ask questions, which is a good thing. We ask questions like who, what, where, when, why, and how. And that's exactly how we are going to be learning about this scripture today. So the first question is, who has written this scripture? As you all know that this scripture is a gift from our Guru. Parampujya Mahan Swami Maharaj has handwritten this scripture by himself. At the age of 86, in just 64 days, Mahan Swami Maharaj has gifted us this scripture. Just look around this world, which 84 year old person would ever write a scripture? But Mahan Swami Maharaj has gifted this scripture to us. I'm going to share two prasangs with you. Once, Badre Swami was sitting with Mahan Swami Maharaj whilst he was writing this scripture. And Badre Swami asked Mahan Swami Maharaj, Swami Shri, are you sure everything that's on your mind has been included in this scripture? Mahan Swami Maharaj said, Baddu avi gayu which means everything is included. And then Mahan Swami Maharaj said that whatever was on Maharaj's mind and whatever was on the Guru Parampara's mind has all been included in this scripture. Which means that Mahan Swami Maharaj has written everything which Maharaj wished for. He has written everything which all of our Gurus wished for. Another prasang is that Mahan Swami Maharaj had chosen the pen he wanted to write with. He had also chosen the paper he wanted to write on. Once the paper Mahan Swami Maharaj was writing on had finished and the Santos had brought another pile of paper for him. But even that pile of paper had finished soon too. So all the Santos they came to Mahan Swami Maharaj and asked him, Swami, who is writing this scripture? Mahan Swami Maharaj looked at them and said, Akshar is writing this scripture, which means Akshar Brahm is writing this scripture. It means that every single Guru of ours have written this scripture through Mahan Swami Maharaj. Aren't we lucky with this unique gift by our Guru? The next question is, what is the scripture about? Well, the title of this scripture is Satsang Diksha. Two words, Satsang and Diksha. The first word, Satsang, means spiritual endeavors, things we do for spirituality, like Puja, Arti, Gar Sabha, Bal Sabha, etc. It also means the internal clarity. It also means the internal satisfaction that we get 
and the internal and eternal happiness that we experience. And Diksha means to surrender. It also means firm faith and trust. Now, the Satsang Diksha has 315 shlokas, 315 verses. And each verse has several topics. Badre Swami, who has written the Sanskrit of this scripture, he once sat down to count the topics that Mohan Swami Maharaj has included in this scripture. And all of you will be amazed to know that Badre Swami started counting. He counted up to 529 topics. So this scripture has everything we need to know to be an Adash Barak and an Adash Balika of Mohan Swami Maharaj, who can be the best satsangi ever. The next question is, when was this scripture written? Mohan Swami Maharaj decided to start writing this scripture on the day of Vasant Panchmi during the Nausari Mandir Murti Pratishta Mahotso. Now, if you know, the Murti Pratishta Mahotso are very busy days. Lots of festivals, lots of programs, so many people to meet. But Mohan Swami Maharaj decided Vasant Panchmi because he has great respect for Shastriji Maharaj who was born on Vasant Panchmi. Mohan Swami Maharaj finished this scripture in 64 days. That day was the auspicious day of Swaminarayan Jainti. The start day was the birthday of Shastriji Maharaj and the end day was the birthday of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. In a matter of 64 days, Mohan Swami Maharaj completed this scripture. The next question that we can ask is, where was this scripture written? Well, we just mentioned that the scripture started in Navsari. But the next list of places will show us that Mohan Swami Maharaj didn't just stay in Navsari to finish this scripture. He continued with his vichran, with his travels. Mohan Swami Maharaj from Navsari went to Atladra, then to Anand, then to Gadada, then to Sarangpur, Amdavad, and finally completing this scripture in Nenpur. Mohan Swami Maharaj continued his travels everywhere whilst writing this scripture as well. The next question is why? Why was such a scripture written? Well, Mohan Swami Maharaj had this wish of writing a scripture many years ago when he was a Sadguru Sant. Mohan Swami Maharaj has many times expressed his feelings of promoting the knowledge and greatness of Akshar Purushottam Maharaj and Akshar Purushottam Siddhant. If we look at the past, Mohan Swami Maharaj has celebrated many, many festivals for Akshar Purushottam Siddhant. As we all know, Badre Swami has written Sanskrit text called the Bhashyas. Mahan Swami Maharaj has inspired grand processions which showcase this Bhashya throughout the major cities in India and around the world. Another thing that Mahan Swami Maharaj has done is Chavanis. This might be a new word to you, but a Chavani is an all day, you can say, Shibir of discourses by senior Santos. Now, Mohan Swami Maharaj has a busy schedule all day. But when he heard that there's a Chavni, Mohan Swami Maharaj attended the entire Chavni, which meant he sat in this Chavni for seven hours. And he also spoke in that Chavni four times. At this age, Mohan Swami Maharaj has shown great excitement to promote Akshar Purushottam Maharaj and the Siddhant. And that's why Mahan Swami Maharaj strongly believes that this Siddhant and this Gnan knowledge should come into one scripture which so many people around the world can understand. The next question is how was this scripture written? Mahan Swami Maharaj started writing this scripture 
and immediately started making changes in his daily routine. How? Mahan Swami Maharaj started waking even earlier than the usual time he woke up. And he also started waking up earlier from his afternoon rest, which meant that he started sleeping less just to write this scripture. Another thing which shows us how much effort Mahan Swami Maharaj put behind writing this scripture is that Mahan Swami Maharaj, he normally does some exercises throughout the day. But on the days of Ekadashi, he doesn't. So he would spend almost 200 minutes a day during the days of Ekadashi to finish this scripture. That's how much Mahan Swami Maharaj wanted to write this scripture for us. But don't forget, whilst Mahan Swami Maharaj was writing this scripture, he never forgot to do his puja. He never forgot to do his arti. He never forgot to even attend any sabhas. So Mahan Swami Maharaj continued to write this scripture as well as continuing to do all his bhakti and seva at the same time. One prasang which shows us how eager Mahan Swami Maharaj was to finish this scripture. Once Mahan Swami Maharaj was ready to have his meal, but for some reason his food had not come on time and was only a few minutes late. Mahan Swami Maharaj started looking here and there. And when the Santos asked, Swami, do you want something? Mahan Swami Maharaj said, if I knew the food was going to come late, I would have written a few verses of the Satsang Diksha. This shows us that Mahan Swami Maharaj was so excited to write the scripture for us. To understand how much Mahan Swami Maharaj respects and loves this scripture, Satsang Diksha, I think all of us need to spend one night with Mahan Swami Maharaj in Nainpur. Okay, Baraks and Balikas, are you ready? to experience one night with Mahan Swami Maharaj? Well, this prasang takes us back to this one evening in Nainpur. Mahan Swami Maharaj had expressed his wish to the Santos that the electronic version, the PDF of the Satsang Diksha scripture should be uploaded to our Sansta's website. But because it was evening and it was Mahan Swami Maharaj's rest time, the Santos told Mahan Swami Maharaj that they will get the task completed. Mahan Swami Maharaj wasn't satisfied with their answer. So Mahan Swami Maharaj told them that once you get the news that the Satsang Diksha scripture has been uploaded to our website, place a note in my bathroom. So when I wake up at night, I will get the good news. So Mahan Swami Maharaj went to sleep. And the Satsang Diksha scripture was uploaded for us on the Sansta's website at 11.58 p.m. at night. Mahan Swami Maharaj woke up at 2 a.m. and went to the bathroom. When he went to the bathroom, he saw the small note which said, Satsang Diksha uploaded. Mahan Swami Maharaj, as soon as he saw that note, started saying the Jainad, Agna Upasna Siddhantani Jai. Satsang Dikshani Jai. And then Mahan Swami Maharaj started to say the entire Jainad. Swami Narayan Bhagwan Ni Jai. All the way to Pramukh Swami Maharaj Ni Jai. The Santos nearby came running to the bathroom to ask Mahan Swami Maharaj what had happened. Mahan Swami Maharaj was so happy by finding out the great news that the Satsang Diksha scripture has been uploaded to the website. For us, Mahan Swami Maharaj then went to the bed. He sat on his bed and told everyone, I cannot sleep now. I am wide awake. Mahan Swami Maharaj asked for the Satsang Diksha scripture. Now all of us have seen that picture where Mahan Swami Maharaj is reading the Satsang Diksha. It's a big version which has bigger font to make it easy for him to read. So the Satsang Diksha was brought to Mahan Swami Maharaj and Mahan Swami Maharaj hugged the Satsang Diksha. The Santos were asking Mahan Swami Maharaj, Swami, why are you hugging this scripture? Mahan Swami Maharaj said, I am hugging Maharaj. I am hugging 
Swami and I am hugging the Akshar Purushottam Siddhant. That's how much love and excitement Mahan Swami Maharaj has for this scripture. After hugging the scripture, Mahan Swami Maharaj again told the Santos that I cannot sleep. So Mahan Swami Maharaj kept the Satsang Diksha in front of him and started closing his eyes and said, Om Akshara Purushottamaya Namaha. He said this so many times that the Santos asked the Mahan Swami Maharaj, Swami, how many times did you just say this? Mahan Swami Maharaj said, I just said it 540 times, which means he said five Maras worth of Akshara Purushottamaya Namaha, which means that he was offering his respect to the scripture Satsang Diksha. Mahan Swami Maharaj added that not only was I saying Om Akshar Purushottamaya Namaha, I was also mentally offering a variety of flowers to this scripture. Mahan Swami Maharaj then started to list the names of these flowers that he was visualizing in his mind. Mahan Swami Maharaj mentioned 11 types of flowers. Even I don't know 11 types of flowers. Mahan Swami Maharaj had so much devotion to this scripture, Satsang Diksha. After mentally offering so many flowers to the Satsang Diksha scripture and saying Akshar Purushottamaya Namaha 540 times, Mahan Swami Maharaj again told the Santos, I can't sleep, I'm wide awake. Mahan Swami Maharaj then started to say the dun. Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan, Swami Narayan. And during the dun, Mahan Swami Maharaj would say a sankalp. He would say a wish. One of the wish was that Mahan Swami Maharaj wants all the baraks and balikas around the entire world to memorize the Gujarati verses of the Satsang Diksha scripture. Mahan Swami Maharaj said that throughout the entire world, Baraks and Balikas will start reciting these verses and memorizing these verses and there will be a buzz of Satsang Diksha created across the entire world. Mahan Swami Maharaj then showed the Satsang Diksha scripture to all the Santos in the room and said, This scripture is Param Hitkari and Param Kalyankari, which means that this scripture will grant liberation to all the Bal Balikas and Satsangis around the world. It was now early morning in Nenpur and Mahan Swami Maharaj still kept saying, I cannot sleep. My happiness has no boundaries today. This was one night in Nenpur, which shows us that Mahan Swami Maharaj loves and respects this scripture, Satsang Diksha, so much because he firmly believes that Maharaj and the entire Guru Parampara have written this scripture through him. So what now? How can we as Baraks and Balikas make our Guru, Mahan Swami Maharaj, happy? Well, Mahan Swami Maharaj mentioned that night in Nenpur that he wanted a buzz created by all the Baraks and Balikas throughout the entire world to start memorizing and learning the Satsang Diksha. As you all know, Mahan Swami Maharaj has handwritten the Satsang Diksha scripture himself. The Gujarati verses which you see in the Satsang Diksha scripture are written by Mahan Swami Maharaj. They are his own words. So, as Baraks and Balikas, we should all try and make an effort to learn and memorize the Gujarati verses of the Satsang Diksha Granth. And remember, this isn't a competition and it's not a rush. So make sure you start memorizing the Satsang Diksha scripture by learning the meanings of the verses as well. If we learn the meanings of the verses, then whenever we have any questions in our lives, we can find the answers from the Gujarati verses that we have learnt and understood whilst memorizing the Satsang Diksha Granth. Many Baraks 
and Balikas have already started learning and memorizing the Satsang Diksha Granth. Congratulations! And for the Baraks and Balikas who have not, we can always start today. Mahan Swami Maharaj has dedicated the Satsang Diksha scripture to Pramukh Swami Maharaj. In the last few verses of the Satsang Diksha Granth, the scripture, Mahan Swami Maharaj mentions that I dedicate this scripture to Pramukh Swami Maharaj on his Shatabdi Mohatsa, which shows us that Mahan Swami Maharaj has great respect, love and devotion towards Pramukh Swami Maharaj. In the same way as Bariks and Balikas, we can also dedicate our time and our efforts in making Mahan Swami Maharaj Raji by slowly and steadily learning and memorizing the Satsang Diksha. Shri Swami Narayan Bhagwanani Jai. Thank you, Puja Anantyogi Swami. I finally feel like I know what the Satsang Diksha is all about. I can't believe how lucky we are to have gotten such a historic gift from Param Puja Mansai Maharaj himself. And not only that, I feel like I'm ready to start exploring and understanding this scripture myself. Hey Shadbhai, look, it seems that there's one last riddle in the packing slip. Guru Purnima was my birthday. Five quotes from me you should read every day. You'll learn to sing all 315 if you make me part of your daily routine. That makes sense. Didn't Swami tell us that Mahan Swami Maharaj gifted us this scripture on Guru Purnima? That's right! Guru Purnima is usually a day where all of us honor and give something to our Guru as a way of saying thank you. But instead, look at our Guru Hari Mahan Swami Maharaj. He gave us a gift. And not an ordinary gift. 315 special verses that teach us all of the important things we should know and follow as Swami Bapa's Balaks and Balikas. And Mahan Swami Maharaj has himself told us that he will be extremely Raji upon all of us who memorize this Satsang Diksha scripture. The riddle says, I'll learn to say all 315 verses. But Bhai, how am I going to be able to memorize all of them? Don't worry, Parambai. Never be intimidated. Remember, we are Swami Bapa's lions and lionesses. If you believe you can do it for Swami Bapa, you certainly can. Just like the riddle says, you'll learn them if you make me a part of your daily routine. Every morning when we do puja, we should read at least five verses. This will help us memorize them very quickly. In fact, there are many Baliks and Balikas across North America that have already started memorizing this scripture. No way! I want to be just like them. Let's take a look at the progress that they've made. In today's Sabha, we learned about the Satsang Diksha scripture, a gift from Mansai Maharaj to all of us. Mansai Maharaj holds this scripture so dear to him that he gave us all the agna of reading at least five shloks a day. Barikas across North America have begun to memorize shloks from Satsang Diksha and reflect on how they can apply these divine words of their guru into their lives. Let's take a look. Satsang Diksha was written just for us and for us to ultimately reach our goal of Akshardham. Let's all join in in our Guru's excitement 
and thank him for giving us this incredible scripture. Let us do prathna that we can become Swami Sri's hands and feet and continue to sing the glory of Akshar and Purushottam until our very last breath. July 7th, 2020, Tuesday, Swami Shriji, Param Pujya Pramukh Swami Maharaj. To all BAPS devotees, heartfelt Jai Shri Swami Narayan from Sadhu Keshav Jivandas. By the grace of Maharaj and Swami, the Satsang Diksha text has been prepared. Now, all should daily read at least five verses from it. Those who are able to should read the verses in Sanskrit and memorize them as per their capacity. That is my wish. May the Balaks, Balikas, Kishors, Kishoris, and Yuvaks, Yutis memorize them and proclaim the Akshar Purushottam principle. Yogi Bapa and Pramukhsami will be extremely pleased. Jai Swami Narayan. Mahan Sami Maharaj is very excited about this scripture. Satsangis across North America are taking this opportunity to make him Raji by memorizing these shloks. Here are some examples. शुभ तथा अशुभ प्रसंगों ने विषय महिमाएं सहित पवित्र सहजानंद नामावली नो पाठ कर वो जीव ईश्वर माया अक्षरब्रह्म तथा परब्रह्म ये पांच तत्व सदाए भिन्न चे नित्य चे सत्य चे एम मुमुक्षु ओए जान एम स्वयं स्वामीनारायण भगवान ने स्पष्ट सिद्धांत करियो चे For all of us in North America, we have this unique chance to make Swami Raji. Our Guru Mahant Swami Maharaj wants everyone to memorize it. As Balaks and Balikas, we will be offering our bhakti in a unique way, called the Rajipo Challenge. What is this Rajipo Challenge? It's simple. Memorizing and understanding the shloks from Satsang Diksha. It's about attaining Swami's Rajipo in your own way. There's no competition. You get to challenge yourself according to how much you can do. Here's the details. In North America, Pujya Ishwar Charan Swami has guided that Balaks, Balikas, should focus on memorizing either the Gujarati or English translations of each shlok. Those that want to memorize the Sanskrit shloks are able to do so. First, here are the Bal Balika Mandal challenges. The first challenge is the Gansham challenge. Gansham Maharaj studied the Shastras at a very young age. This challenge has 20 specific shlokas selected. The second challenge is the Mahant challenge. The Satsang Diksha was written in 64 days by Mahant Sami Maharaj. So, there are 64 specific shlokas in this challenge. The third challenge is the Pramukh challenge. This is in reference to the Pramukh Sami Maharaj Shatapti celebrations. So, 100 shloks 
were specifically selected for this challenge. The fourth challenge is the Yogi Challenge. Yogi Ji Maharaj used to love when kids of all ages recited Mukpat. Therefore, 200 shloks were selected for this challenge to memorize. The fifth challenge is called the Shastriji Challenge. Shastriji Maharaj worked really hard to establish the Akshar Purushottam Upasana. Therefore, we also want to work hard to memorize all 315 shloks of the Satsang Diksha. To help us guide our pace in memorizing these shloks, a suggested number of shloks along with milestones has been provided. The first milestone is Mahant Sami Maharaj's birthday. And you can see the number of suggested shloks to memorize by this date. The second milestone is Pramukh Sami Maharaj's birthday. You can see the number of suggested shloks to memorize by this date. The third milestone is Shastriji Maharaj's birthday. Mahant Sami Maharaj had started writing the Satsang Diksha Shastra on this day. You can see the number of suggested shloks to memorize by this date. The fourth milestone is for Hari Jayanti. Mahant Sami Maharaj finished writing the Satsang Diksha Shastra on this day. You can see the number of suggested shloks to memorize by this date. The fifth milestone is for Guru Purnima. Mahant Sami Maharaj gave us this gift on this day. You can see the number of suggested shloks to memorize by this date. There will be books provided, one for each challenge. To help us get started with our challenges, a toolkit has been provided in the following link. Please be sure to check it out. For Baliks and Balikas, everyone can start memorizing from the beginning for now. We'll get a chance to pledge for the Rajibo challenge soon. For parents and karyakars of Baliks and Balikas, registration and more details will be provided on Saturday, August 15th at 1 p.m. according to your time zone. Mahant Sami Maharaj has shown immense Rajipo on everyone memorizing the Satsang Diksha Shastra. It's his greatest gift to us. Now, this is our opportunity to take, to memorize his words for him. This is our opportunity to make Swami smile. This is our opportunity to attain his Rajipo, to attain Param Anand, to attain Akshar Dham. Seeing these Baliks and Balikas memorize the Satsang Diksha gives me motivation and reminds me that I can do the same thing. Exactly. And now that we know the Maima behind this scripture and the fact that memorizing it will make Swami Bapa Raji, we shouldn't waste another moment without working on learning and memorizing the Satsang Diksha. One way of continuing to stay motivated is by remembering and doing smoothie of when Mansai Maharaj revealed the scripture to all of us for the first time and did pujan of the Satsang Diksha. Let's all practice right now by remembering this moment during this week's smoothie time. In today's Sabha, we learned about the amazing gift that was given to us by Mahan Swami Maharaj, the Satsang Diksha. We learned about the Maima behind this historic gift from Guru Hari Mahan Swami Maharaj himself and how we should start taking time out to read and memorize it. That's right. Now before we end our Sabha, don't forget that your parents will be sent a Sabha summary. In this summary, you will find a recap of today's Sabha techniques for memorization, 
and even a link to the Satsang Diksha scripture if you haven't downloaded it already. Make sure you use this to recap this week's Sabha during your Gar Sabha. Seeing as though Mahansai Maharaj has given us this amazing gift, my bhakti challenge to all of you is to write or draw out why you are thankful to Mansai Maharaj for this new scripture, the Satsang Diksha. We can't wait to see your wonderful creations. The project will be due at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. Well, we should end our Sabha now to give all of you some time to start your adventure with the Satsang Diksha scripture. Happy reading and memorizing to all of you. The responsibility is ours now. We all learn how to earn Mansai Maharaj's Rajipo and now it's time to get to work. Until next week, Aap Sone Jai Swaminarayan.